Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Paula. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. Today's video, I will be talking about the best thing I ever purchased from Amazon, my portable washer. Now I created the original video about three years ago. So I know a lot of you have sent me many messages asking me when there's going to be a part two. <laughs> So this is your part two guys. I'm sorry it's taken some time for me to get this all prepared for you. So hopefully in this video I will be able to answer the majority of questions that I've received. I will try to answer as many as I can. So if I don't get to a question that you have, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my very best to respond to that quickly. So without further ado, I have so much to chat with you about. So let's just jump into the video. Okay, so this is the machine, just so you can have a look at it. Okay, now the side hose that's there, it just clips onto the, to the side there, okay? So that drains the machine, okay? And then of course the cord. So inside the wash side, I just have the, so that's the hose that attaches to your tap, which doesn't attach to mine because I have a newer faucet, which I'll explain that in a minute. And then this here just helps your clothes to not get all tangled. And then in here, I'll try to get a better shot. So that there is your filter. So that's the filter, okay? Now the clip here, right there, you just pull down on that. It's kind of stiff, but see, it opens up. There's a little bag, that's the filter. You just clean that out, okay? And it clips back in. So now we're just gonna plug this in. I need an extension cord. And now this is my faucet. It's a newer faucet. The bottom part here, I can just screw that off. So I know many of you have been frustrated trying to find an adapter. I am using this. Now this is the piece to my shower head, which holds the handheld shower. This is the only thing I could find that actually fit my faucet properly. And I'm just gonna use this inexpensive little wand here that I purchased from the dollar store. So you simply place that inside the washing tub Turn on your tap and fill up the water to the level you want. Now add whatever soap and cleaning products that you use to normally do your laundry. I'm just adding a little bit of powdered Tide. So now we're gonna start the machine. First, make sure that this middle one is on normal and not on drain, because otherwise your water is gonna all drain out of the tub. So it's on normal. Now this is the cycle, so we're going to do it for the full 15 minutes, and you can see it just going like crazy in there. Now some of you have asked if there's a lot of noise, there is not, it is sitting on a little rug. And that's going to run for... 15 minutes, okay? So it goes one direction, then the other direction for 15 minutes. So we'll come back when this is finished. Then I will drain all the water and I'll do a rinse cycle. I won't film that part. Once it's rinsed, then I will throw it into the other side and show you what that looks like. Now that everything's been washed and rinsed, I changed the cycle from drain to normal, and now take all of the items out of the washing tub and place them into the spin tub. And now it comes with that plastic disc. You just simply place that on top of your clothing in the spin side. Set your cycle to whatever spinning time you want your items to spin. This will help to prevent your clothing tangling up. Now the machine will shake a little bit 
that's just the load trying to balance itself and then it's fine. You've also asked during the spin cycle if it makes a bunch of noise, if I'm disturbing my neighbors. You can hear how quiet it is and it spins everything to the point of being damp. So you still do have to hang the clothing up. It's not completely dry. There is no heat source in this machine. So you do still have to hang your things up. Now the plastic disc that I did add to the spin cycle, you will hear a little rattling from that. So it's your prerogative whether or not you wish to use that in your spin cycle. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope that this video has helped to answer any of the questions that you've had. Again, if I missed any of your questions and didn't cover it today, please accept my apology. You can leave another message for me below and of course I will respond to it as quickly as possible. I thank you guys so very much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Stay safe everybody. Bye.